Paul. I had your office try you at home this morning. You're still asking for a service? Yeah, well, almost not, given the number of threats my client received this weekend. Diane, we prepped him for this. He wavers now. We're right back where we started. Come on, he's a kid. Just the sight of these two will be enough to freeze him. That's about right. To intimidate him. We requested separate transport vans. Hopefully this thing will be short and sweet. Docket number 9357. Motion to sever defendant Ryan M. Catrona from co-defendants Howard S. Metzler and Stephen B. Hanauer. Why is there a motion to sever in a gang rape case now? I'd like to get this trial started, people. The more motions filed on this case, the more press attention it seems to get. Your Honor, due to what we feel may be an overwhelming amount of evidence against his co-defendants. What evidence? He's lying, he's got nothing. He wants to save his own ass. Order. Hey, don't be stupid, OK? Don't be dead. Order. We know what you did. Counsel. Okay, you hear me, Ryan? Oh, do you hear me? I'll have your client. Do you hear me? Detained. Look at me! Do you hear me, Katrina? Do you hear me? Oh, me? Oh, I want you to know stop. exactly what you did. Wait, Ryan, Walk, stop. Away stop. Walk away from this! Walk away! Because I can't even get him to sit in a damn chair, much less listen to anything I have to say. A severance is not going to do your client much good if he's facing the exact same charges. Oh, for crap. The kid's terrified. I offered to lower the charges if he gave me pertinent information. OK, so where do we stand? I can prosecute either way, with or without him. But I'd have to guess from what happened in court this morning that he's got something of value. And I'd rather have the truth than not. Yeah. So let's set it up. We'll take a run at him. So Howard. How long did you follow her for? A couple blocks. Did anybody talk about it while you followed her? We really didn't think you'd go through with it. Why? You talked about it before? Yeah. Ryan said he wanted to. We just thought we'd set him up. He'd back off, get scared. It's not true. Did you touch Miss DeVries at all? We're clear on that issue, Detective. My client stated that he only watched. Did you want to touch her? Ryan's the one who got off. Hanauer's is worse. Says you begged them to help you do someone. Says they even had to stop you doing the attack. I don't want to see it. It's just more lies. Why don't you fill us in? I can't. Ryan, whatever you're holding back must be damning enough to scare them. They're counting on your fear to protect themselves. I'll take a lie detector test. You prove that I didn't do anything. Well, that's not enough of what your buddies are telling us. Yeah. You're accused of raping a woman. I'm 17. I don't have a record. You'll be tried as an adult. And any jury that sees those tapes will send you up for a lot more time than your buddies will do. You know he didn't run point on you. I can't prosecute on instincts. She had bruises on her wrists and ankles. How many hands do you think my client had? Well, that's an interesting defense. You plan to prosecute me? Where are you going to take this? I can only work with what I have on hand. And if your client plans to martyr himself, with a heavier sentence, that's not my problem. I'll go after the others as hard as I do your client. DNA tests on the semen samples are doing this afternoon. We'll talk with you then. Because it's a game to these kids, Adam, and I'm sure they were the driving force. The Katona kid's holding something. Well, I have no idea what it is. Nothing out of the transcripts from the victim? Her recollection has been shaky at best. She's pretty much repressed the whole event. She's what, a reporter? <sighs> reporter? She does exploitive crap. 
All sizzling, no steak. Where's that coming from? I'm sorry, Adam, but I have to be honest. I want to put away the scum that raped her, but I don't have to embrace her. Journalism, her lifestyle, her attitudes, I don't like her. And I don't think a jury will like her either. Tough case without her understand. I wish that were my only concern. I feel like we're hitting baseballs in the dark. We've got enough with the tapes and maybe the circumstantial to put someone away, probably the wrong kid. Which means that Messler and Hanauer's people will ask to be severed from the Katrona kid because he'll take the fall. Then they get suspended or greatly reduced. Or well, maybe nothing. No match on the semen sample. On any of them? Well, that could solve our entire dilemma. We may be dead in the water. Possibly another assailant. Never mentioned by the others. She was foggy the first few days on the numbers, but the sense said it was three. What about a boyfriend? I'll check. Just a minute, no, no, no. Did she state whether there was penetration during the rape? She's repressed it. Rape kit findings at the hospital indicate there was. If there was no discharge during the rape, it could be a boyfriend, previous night that morning. Well, find out. Either way, we're hurt without a DNA match. <laughs>